So you should be familiar with the terms in bold on pages 181 to 183, but I did want to take some time to talk about these two charts because you may have to identify them uh, for your practical. So the chart that you see to the left here, uh, this is actually called your astigmatism chart. And your astigmatism chart is used to detect astigmatism. And again, an astigmatism is a defect in uh, either your cornea or your lens. And um, you use this chart uh, to detect whether you have an astigmatism. And so typically you would stand some number of feet away from this chart and you would cover one eye. And the reason you would cover one eye uh, is because one, uh, our one, if, if one eye has an astigmatism and the other does not have a, a astigmatism, um, what can end up happening is, is that the good eye can uh could sort of cover up for the bad eye and so there are people who may have astigmatism and would not know uh until they actually covered one eye um the the other type of test uh is called uh it's called a snellen chart and we use this to test acuity and acuity is just really your 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 eyes ability to see fine details. So just keep in mind that our eyes are actually set to see long distance, about 20 feet. So when someone has 20-20 vision, uh, what that means is, is that their vision is normal, right? Uh, if someone's vision was 20-25, what that would mean is, is that that person could see uh, tw at 25 feet what normal people could see at 20 and so their vision would not be very good conversely if someone was 2010 what that me would mean was that they could see uh, at uh, uh, 10 feet what some what what normal people would see at 20 feet right so 2020 is normal 2025 isn't very good 2010 or 2015 is pretty pretty freaking good